Back in 2021, Gina Carano was fired from Disney and Lucasfilm for making tweets. Now she's out for blood and she's suing Disney and Lucasfilm. And guess who's footing the bill? Well, I have an article here I wanna go through and read it to you. And they try to make it as neutral as possible. And I thought we could read it along together. So let me present this to you. So there's Gina Carano. I always liked her character in The Mandalorian. And she was in The Mandalorian season one and two, if you weren't sure, between season two and three is when she was let go. Gina Carano sues Disney and Lucasfilm over wrongful termination. Lawsuit funded by Elon Musk. Elon Musk is saying that anybody who made tweets on Twitter and X and have been wrongfully terminated his company will fund the lawsuit and they will pay for the court costs. Three years after her firing from The Mandalorian and other Star Wars spinoffs, Gina Carano is back knocking on Lucasfilm and Disney's door. But this time she's lawyered up. Carano filed a lawsuit for discrimination and wrongful termination against her former employees on Tuesday. She seeks to be recast. $75,000 in punitive damages. If I'd been kicked from The Mandalorian and had other shows coming up, I probably would have gone for a lot more than $75,000. And it says, because this is on StarWarsNews.net, a note to our readers, the story contains highly political matters, which we usually do not cover on StarWarsNews.net. We've done our best to cover it from the most objective point of view, but please keep in mind that public information regarding this matter is currently limited. Disney and Lucasfilm will issue their response through legal channels. A reminder that all comments on our site are monitored and any appropriate comments will be taken down. Well, I'm not going to comment on their on their channel, so I don't have to worry about that. In the complaint, which you can read here, I'm not going to go there. Carano and her legal representative argue that she was terminated from her role as swiftly as her character's peaceful home, Planet of Alderaan, had been destroyed by the Death Star in an earlier Star Wars film. And all this because she dared voice her own opinions on social media platforms and elsewhere and stood up to the online bullying mob who demanded her compliance with their extreme progressive ideology. There's Bryce Dallas Howard and Gina Carano on the set of The Mandalorian. And if you don't know, Bryce Dallas Howard is Ron Howard's daughter. They go on to say that this discrimination was done on the basis of sex, alleging that her male co-stars have made similarly inflammatory social media posts that were ignored by Disney and Lucasfilm. The Hollywood Reporter speculates that this is in relation to Pedro Pascal's 2017 post comparing then-President Donald Trump to Adolf Hitler. The complaint added, While the incivility directed towards her started much earlier, over the summer of 2020, Carano was constantly harassed and bullied on social media to support various causes, adopt various ideologies, and hold herself out in certain ways in her social media profiles. When she declined, Carano was called all sorts of names, including that she was a racist for not publicly adopting the Black Lives Matter moniker and a transphobic witch, with a capital B, for not including pronouns in her profile's biography section. Social media users demanded that Carano publicly support the Black Lives Matter movement, including adopting their slogans. They went on to add pages and pages of screen captures of users' posts on Twitter X, asking her to take public action in support of BLM and other matters including lockdowns and mass mandates enforced in the light of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. After months of online exchanges, Carano's legal reps add that Disney and Lucasfilm subjected Carano to long phone calls demanding an explanation and criticizing her for not embracing what some see as mandatory solidarity with the vocal element of the transgender activist community. Even when she expressed that Lucasfilm and Disney's demands were excessive and asked for some time away from the constant meetings, the companies refused, demanding that she continue with her re-education program. Hmm. So there's Gina and Pedro Pascal. The gaps may be filled by the legal documents linked above. It claims that Carano's firing was announced via a statement to the press before the MMA fighter turned actress was even informed. At that point, the lawsuit says John Favreau had told Gina Carano that her life was about to change. Lucasfilm was going to develop Rangers of the New Republic, which I'm 
really sad didn't come out. I thought it would be awesome, which she would have been one of the leads of. According to them, that would have meant financial compensations of $150,000 to $250,000 per episode versus the $25,000 she was making on The Mandalorian up until then. No contract had been signed. Moreover, Carino says that Favreau had told her she was going to be part of a new series of Star Wars movies based on the various Disney Plus series. That series, they claim, including the recently announced The Mandalorian and Grogu. Carano's team seeks Disney and Lucasfilm to reinstate her to her prior position with no loss of pay or benefits. A judgment declaring her termination was unlawful. Compensatory damages of at least $75,000. Compensatory damages for the loss of future employment in an amount to be determined at trial. Emotional distress damages. Punitive damages. Attorney fees, costs, and further relief deemed by the court. A trial by a jury. Elon Musk promised last year to finance, sparing no expenses, any wrongful termination suit against corporations to those who had been fired for expressing their views on social media. Fulfilling that promise, Musk will be footing Carino's legal bill per The Hollywood Reporter. This is an involving legal matter that will likely be resolved behind closed doors. Given Disney's past fight with the actresses like Scarlett Johansson over very different issues, however, Carano is asking for a jury trial the actress also posted an emotional message on Instagram about Carl Weathers following his passing on Thursday. What do you think? Do you think she was wrongfully terminated? Do you think Disney had the right to do what they did to her? Me, I have my thoughts and ideas. Uh, basically, I was really sad when they let her go. I thought she brought a lot to the show. She was very energetic. She brought a lot of energy to the show. And I really enjoyed her character. I think when people do things on their personal time and they have their own personal opinions, as long as it's not bullying or downright nasty, if it's just expressing your opinions, I think a uh, company should not be allowed to do that. It wasn't on company time. It wasn't at the, at Disney or Lucasfilm Studios when she did this. I think that a lot of people were bullying Gina online uh, with them trying to push the Black Lives Matter movement. If you like it, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine. If you don't care, that's fine too. I, when they try to push her to do that, I think that was wrong. When they try to, to you know, push her to do the transphobic thing, I, I think that's wrong too. Uh, some people have different religions. Some people have different beliefs. You know, why can't we all just believe what we want and not have people try to push us to do what they want and then get all upset and hurt and call us racist, transphobic, or, you know, bigots or whatever. It's just, it's just live and let live. I mean, gosh, I get so frustrated when people try to say that another person is is hateful or wrong when they make one statement and they don't agree they don't agree with the other person the other person gets bent out of shape and calls that person who doesn't agree with them all these different names so just let's all get along let's be loving and caring and kind i'm really interested to see how this this court case comes about because like they said, Disney does most of their stuff behind closed doors. And Gina is, is pushing for a jury trial. This is gonna be super, super interesting. And I wonder how Disney's gonna handle it because basically I, I think they did wrongfully terminate her. That's my opinion. Just cause she didn't agree and, and she didn't put her pronouns up on her Twitter. You know, oh my gosh, fire me. Well, I guess Disney did. Anywho, that's my opinion. I, I think we should all get along, stop pushing people to do things and stop getting bent out of shape. And let's just, let's just enjoy Star Wars for what it is. It's a, it's a fantasy sci-fi show and it's magical and it should bring us together. And remember, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe, 
and like the channel. Uh, my channel loves it. So do I. Come back for more sci-fi and Star Wars content, more live streams, more live movie watches and Black Series unboxings. And if you're really interested, check out this video and all my other videos.